Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Guys, uh, in this video, let's have a look on the backside part of the torso, which is uh, uh, the latissimus dorsi muscle. So I've just created some uh, space here for a group of muscles. Uh, called as infraspinatus muscle and we have terrace um, major muscle terrace minor and uh, rhomboid muscles okay and this one is uh, latissimus dorsi so we have thoraco lumbar fascia muscle and this is uh, external oblique so you should able to see i've uh, got some references so if you could able to see here and uh, i'm going to select this all lines here okay and then extrude it like that and this muscles uh, should come here like that okay so I just start connecting them you get that a clear separation of this latissimus dorsi here so I need to add lines so I'm using the insert edge loop tool and then break that shape to the right volume okay I will assign the default Lambert shader now I should be able to see that clearly so I'm using the multi cut tool and I'm putting a line in the middle and then further break it uh, so that you get more control over the shape so I need to add lines here So I'm using the multi cut tool put a line in the middle and then just break the shape so that looks good so I need to uh, slide this and then start merging the vertex points okay so that gives that nice slats I select this uh, line and then just make it little bit wide then I'm going to select this lines on the bottom this and then just move it down so come to the back view and then move it till the glutes display polygons back face culling and then start uh, moving the points to match with the reference
I'm using the append to polygon tool and then just click like that one thing I need to do is I have to select these lines and then move it to the reference and match all these lines here I'm using the soft selection tool and then just moving it now we start connecting these lines here So I'm going to select this uh, points and I'm going to open this up. I just wanted an open arm here. Just wanted to model the armpit areas. Let's merge this vertex points. I'll add a line. and then merge them too I'll add one more line here and I just make sure that this line takes a turn here so I'll be adding a line and this one will generally be coming outside I'll use the slide edge tool then you get that nice volume there I apply the soft selection and then just move it down and then adjust it So I'm moving it further in because I just uh, wanted this loop in the armpit. So I'm going to uh, select the model and then switch off back face culling. I 
I'm going to move this uh, point inside. And then merge this vertex points. Apply fill hole. And then start connecting the lines. So I'm using the multi cut tool. And then just connect them. And then you get this result. I'm going to use append to polygon tool to fill this line. I need to merge this vertex point there. So I'm using the target well and then merging it. And the reason is I just wanted to bring that arm outside. <coughs> For convenience, I'll be using this tool called Circularize just to make it very quickly into a circle. As I told you, I'm going to move this. there and I'm going to rotate it like that just I want the arms to be wide open like that and then start adjusting the points accordingly I'm using the soft selection to quickly adjust points. Then I'm using the soft uh, sculpt tool and then hold shift and then just quickly sculpt it. And uh, when I add uh, lines here, then if I add sculpt tool, the relax tool will behave differently. So you can go to the sculpt category and use tools like grab and then push pull the points as you wanted them. So you should be able to see that I've got a nice lattice mist to see muzzle on the back side. And uh, we have to just uh, give some details um, here. And then we have the thoraso lumbar fascia here on the bottom. I just uh, start subdividing these lines here. So I'm using the multi cut tool and then start placing a few lines there. And then start connecting them with the front lines here. So 
so I'll be using this uh, tool multi cut and then start connecting them one after other I'll be using the merge vertex tools and start merging them. Okay. So I've got uh, sufficient lines and uh, I need to just uh, do the sculpting quickly. Just relax them. like that 